In the previous video we showed you how to connect your Arduino to the computer and how to send uh, a character 1 or 0 to uh, switch on a light or switch it off again. Um, we could test this just by the serial monitor here. We could send a 1 and a 0 which would switch on and off the little light on the Arduino device. Um, now I'm going to show you how you can connect this to Unreal. Um, you need to get this plugin called UE4 Arduino, uh, which is free uh, and you can download it off of the GitHub site um, there. Um, you'll notice that the version only currently goes up to 4.22. I've actually recompiled the plugin um, to work on 4.23. Um, I won't go through that on here, but uh, it's fairly straightforward um, or you could just use the, you know, the 422 version of the engine until the plugin uh, has been updated. Um, I've got a copy of the plugin here, so this is ready to go into the engine. Um, I'm just going to build uh, a new Unreal project. Call it Test Arduino and um, just build a third person template for that. Once it's loaded up, um, we need to then add the plugin to the uh, folder. So we can close down this project and then just copy our plugin here. So copy that and find the uh, project we just made. There we are. And then if we just make a new folder in here called plugins, Paste that there. Now, when we open up the project, it should have the plugin enabled for us. We can test this by just going to the plugin setting and then down at the bottom, um, there we can see the install plugins um, switched on. UE4 Arduino, that's already there. And uh, next thing we need to do is, is set up the uh, plugin so we can actually connect to the Arduino. Um, I'm going to just set this up in the level blueprint. Obviously, you might want to set it up in something more useful, like a dedicated actor that you could make, or game mode, or somewhere like that. But just for testing purposes, um, we'll just uh, test it all in here. So on the begin play, we're going to open our serial port. And you see the board right there matches 9,600. We need to know what port number our Arduino is connected on. Um, two ways of doing this. Um, one is you just go into the tool section here and it should say the COM port that it's connected to there um, in that list. Um, alternatively, you can go to device manager and just see which COM port you're connected to on there as well. So both of those would work. We're on COM port three. So we need to put three in the number there. Obviously different computers might have different COM port numbers so you might have to configure this um, using some sort of uh, input box or you could probably write a little kind of routine on the Arduino that would you'd send it a, a kind of ID or something like that and it would, it would give a confirmation as to the port it was connected on. Um, perhaps we could look at that in a later tutorial but for now hard-coded port number three um, you might need to change this for your own computer. Um, if it's open successfully, then we are going to store the result of our Arduino here. Oops. We'll save that as a variable. You know, if the variable type is a reference to the serial object, so Arduino is going to be our name of our uh, serial port reference. And we'll do a, uh, a branch as well. Just here, and we'll just check that it does actually open the port up. So, if it opens, it's fine. Um, if it fails to open, just bring the message up saying failed to open port. Okay. Um, one thing we've got to make sure that we do um, 
with our uh, project as well is to close the port down afterwards. Um, I'll just give a little confirmation message here as well. Oops. Just use the print string as well. So the port is open. And then we need to make sure that um, we close the port down afterwards properly. If you forget to put um, an end, end play on there, um, it will kind of crash the port or lock the port up so you'll have to um, unplug the Arduino plug it back in again to reset that um, it's not a massive problem it's just a bit annoying sometimes so um, we're going to get our Arduino variable here we're going to do is valid so we'll check to see if that Arduino port is valid if it is then we're going to do something that's called closed port that shuts down the serial port nice and cleanly. And we'll just print the string afterwards as well. Closed port. So make that a bit bigger so we can see. Um, so we open the serial port on port number three. Um, if it's successful, then we'll close the port afterwards just to make sure um, everything works properly. So we're just going to test that now. It says the port's open, hit escape, it says the port's closed. So just run again to make sure port open, port closed. So that's working properly. Um, next thing we need to do is just to send um, a one or a zero. So I'll just use the, the key press here. So if number one is pressed, then we'll just check again that our Arduino port is valid. If it is valid, then we're going to run a function that's called print line. There's various um, types of where you can send information down to the Arduino. I found that print line works quite nicely. Um, it does actually print like the, in this case, the string number one, the character number one, but basically, um, followed by a line break, it's basically a return character at the end of it. So that system seems to work quite well. You've got various other um, print, uh, you've got standard print as well. It doesn't send a new line character. You could also use that potentially for this method. Um, so yeah, it's just called print line. Uh, and we'll duplicate this for our off button as well Oops. just tie that up a little bit so it's going to be zero key so if zero key is pressed then we're going to send character zero down the line. So compile that and we'll test here. So port's open, I'm gonna press a one. You can see the lights come on on the Arduino, I'm gonna press a zero and the light's gone off again. So pretty straightforward. Um, now obviously this could be some sort of motor or other device, a little solenoid or a um, fan that you switch on whatever it is you want to connect to the Arduino um, so you should be, do, be able to do some interesting things with that also you might want to have it so that you kind of trigger this when you walk into a box you can turn a physical light on so maybe if I add a, a trigger box to the stop, top of the stairs here um, stick a trigger box on the, uh, the steps there Oops, that one's disappeared do that again so that uh, when the begin overlap happens and when the end overlap happens it turns the light on and off as well 
Um, again, obviously, you probably want to spend a bit more time checking it's the right actor that's overlapping and so on. Um, I'll probably set this up properly with some uh, blueprint actors. But yeah, if we check the Arduino now, it should come on and go off when you walk in and out of that trigger box. So pretty simple to get working. Um, I hope you found that useful.